Shalom Chavarim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live, and this evening, friends, uh, I have a very unusual broadcast, a little different than normal news, but uh, it actually happens to be there was a, a sister that uh, sends us a lot of different news events that are happening around the world as they're breaking. And on this particular issue, she sent me a vision or of a 16-year-old young man who uh, saw things that are coming on the earth. And what really caught my attention about it is, besides World War III coming, he also talks about demonic aliens that are coming on this earth as well. Now, the reason I say that got my attention is because I also saw a near-death experience uh, it was shared with me a little while back uh, about a, a little boy about 11 years old that had died. Uh, he was dead for 45 minutes. He comes back with a startling um, uh, testimony where he says that uh, Yeshua, Jesus, was, had taken him to a paradise place. He does bring him back to his body. Um, and he tells him that there's going, he shows him, in fact, there's going to be a third world war on the earth and, uh, and that there would be something much worse to follow. And that would be where demonic beings, uh, he said, as people will call them aliens, will come to the earth as well and will actually cannibalize people. Now, I'm going to share both of these with you, some excerpts of these videos. The first one here is on a minute to midnight. Uh, this was uh, first loaded on their uh, channel. As far as I know, this is the origination uh, of this particular, where this video is at. Uh, the, we're going to just go to some of the key points that this uh, young man speaks about. 16 years of age. Uh, it aired about two weeks ago. And we will put the link so you can actually hear, hear this in its entirety. There are several issues that I want to touch on that he speaks about here. Killing for sport. Um, you know, he did, couldn't understand why men, women, and children would do so much evil in the earth. And then he goes into something in about 17.25 minutes into this video. He speaks about beware of the Catholics um, and that they would be the ones that would ignite the Third World War. Now, they do a disclaimer, and I have that. I'll show you that as well. They did a disclaimer. They said they don't believe that it was really targeted towards all Catholic people, and I would agree with them on that. Uh, they, they mentioned in there that they believe that it would be a leader in the Catholic Church in the Vatican that would probably be the one that would usher in the Antichrist. And that was kind of interesting to me as well, their take on that, because uh, one of the things that I have really been looking more and more at is, a, is a, a, from the Apocryphon of uh, Thomas, the Apocalypse of Thomas, I believe it is, uh, where Thomas speaks about uh, this very thing here about the coming of the Antichrist. And it does seem to allude to an alien type being um, that would be a... We call it an alien, but it's actually a devil, a, a demonic spirits that are going to be coming to the earth. Much like what we saw with David dealt with, what we see at the, during the Andalusian destruction, uh, the giants that were on the earth in those days there. I really do believe we are coming to something major in the very near future with the same thing happening again. Uh, and World War III is going to look like a cupcake walk to, 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 to even think about it. Uh, I will say this much too, as I listen to this video, and the uncle of the man that, uh, that actually captured the moment live right after it happened, and even he was still having the visions while he was uh, videoing, or excuse me, recording this, um, I really feel like as kind as his uncle was, uh, and really trying to lead him to the Lord, the gravity of what this young man saw and heard, um, I don't think any of us, not his uncle or anyone else, could really grasp what he's talking about unless it's someone that's had a similar vision. Uh, there's a girl that will play a little excerpt of her uh, vision as well that's seen these things, and even my wife uh, seen very similar things uh, that are being spoken here as well in a dream that she had not too long ago. Let's get right into it. I don't want to waste a lot of time doing a commentary on this, but I will go to certain issues on this after we kind of touch on some of these. Uh, let's start right here at the, at the 1220 mark. 
Uh, this is where he talks about they'll be killing for sport. It is a little bit difficult to listen to uh, because he is weeping very much uncontrollably uh, as this is a live feed of this. Listen to this. Listen to me, baby. And there's going to be something worse after the war. There's not going to be anyone that's going to win. People will claim victory, but it's not going to be victory. It's not going to be for fighting for good or bad. It's just going to be killing. Just to kill. People are just going to start killing to kill. Not even to survive. They're just going to kill for the satisfaction of killing. Like a sport. No. What he is actually speaking about here, he's talking about after World War III, it'll continue on and that people will continue to take lives, as he said, for sport. And he elaborates on it. In each interval there, his uncle is trying to calm him uh, and soothe him for what he's just witnessed and to reinforce the fact that uh, Yeshua is uh, indeed uh, the true, true uh, father, the true God, we would, we would say there. But, uh, but there again, as I said, you know, I, I don't know how anybody could handle, you know, I, I would have wanted to know as much as possible myself. Listen to this excerpt here. This is where he talks about that, you know, men, women, and even children will be doing such evils. Listen to this section here, 15, 29 seconds into the video uh, to 1605. <laughs> and the things I see... The things I still am saying, it's all horrible. I don't understand why, how a man, a woman, kids, could do such horrors. How could, what was simple living, could so, in such a little time, turn into such horrors? It's not... What he speaks about in here is he's, you know, he's, we're, we're, we're not getting everything because he is so distraught in what he's talking about. Um, but he talks about the horrors. And one of the things that I noticed in his comments there is that in such a short period of time, humanity will spiral out of control majorly, majorly fast. If we go to the 1725 mark, this is when he speaks about the Catholic Church. And this is what I find very provocative because he talks about bewaring of the Catholic Church uh, and that they will be the ones that actually uh, speak a word that will ignite the war, but they will be doing it as if it were peace. Now, I'm wondering if this may have something to do with the Mideast two-state solution uh, peace process there that could actually ignite that. But let's listen to what he has to say on it. You Beware see, the Catholic. Huh? Beware the Catholics. Beware of the Catholics? Why? The first word will come from them. Oh, wow. What do you mean by that, puppy? <laughs> the first word of war will come from them. Okay. They will claim it's peace, but it's just corruption. I know. That was just provocative in itself. And again, they do make the disclaimer on their website there that uh, they don't believe that it's the Catholic people per se, but the Catholic Church itself. This is one of the reasons, and I know a lot of people don't like it when I say this, but this is one of the reasons why I've had a great caution uh, when I seen Donald Trump leaning towards the Catholic Church uh, more so there. And, you know, I'm all for the no war with Russia, things like that. But some of the other things that this young man sees in his own vision there uh, clearly identify something that Trump is talking about doing, and that's building up the nuclear arms. And he says there's going to be a major race for who can make the biggest nuclear bomb, and that'll be used in this third world war. So it may be that we end up going to a third world war with Trump in office, and of course, with the Catholic Church having the first word on it. 
So are we months away or are we a few years away? Who knows exactly what's going to happen, but there's supposed to be an arms race as well. And let me take you, uh, that's actually the next thing that he speaks about, but he does say that the Catholics have the first word, and he said it'll be corruption, but it'll be like it's peace that they're trying to bring forth, but that's what will actually ignite the war. Let's go to 19 minutes, 58 seconds into the video here. Very provocative part about the arms race itself. Oh no, they don't have a clue at all. We're going to make an advancement. <laughs> That's not going to be good either with the nukes. Uh, uh, it's going to be a, a run for, for power of nukes. They're going to run VTC with the biggest and baddest weapon. They're going to be running for the nukes. It's going to... He goes into that, and then when we get into 24, uh, 24, 55 seconds on the video, this is when he also begins to speak about the, um, um, the Christians, and I'm assuming the real believers and the tortures that will be done to them on the earth. And I realize that the, uh, his uncle may have misunderstood it the first time. I'm sure maybe I could misunderstand as well, because you're hearing things for the first time that blow you away. And when he talks about it a little bit later, he's talking, he's talking about these people being in hell, but it's, he's not talking about that. He's actually talking about Christians that will be tortured and kept alive as long as possible. Listen to this. More than they're going after the churches, not just the churches, they're going for after people that believe in God, they're going for to slaughter them mm -hmm. just slowly and painfully. They're going to prolong their debt to the fullest extent. He said they're going to prolong their debt to the fullest extent. Watching and smiling while it all happens. And there's another man right next to him that's shorter. <laughs> they're both shadows. When he talks in there about the two that are there that are watching, one taller, one shorter, it reminded me as well of a vision that I had years ago of Satan. And there was, there was one that was taller and one that was shorter. And it's always been profound in my mind in remembering that. Um, the last thing I want to share with you here um, is at the, he speaks about the ring of fire that will erupt on the earth. He's speaking about the volcanoes and then the lava will spew out of the earth. I cannot help but wonder if this planet X that so many of us talk about, if this is not what causes this. So let me take you right to that without me adding anything to it and listen to what he has to say about this. A lot of them are going to erupt the ring of fire. Oh, he said volcanoes will erupt. Because I see a deformed circle goes from Japan to like California, whole area. Mm -hmm. All that's going to erupt. And then from there, there's going to be new land formation, but it's not. It's not land, it's, it's, it's lava that's been molten. There's going to be so much of it. So much lava is going to be pouring out. <sighs> You've seen a lot, puppy. He also, he's going to get into this in just a moment. People are going to um, die a lot and they're going to be sacrificing humans and animals to it and it's not going to make it better it's going to drive people insane and then they'll just accept it and start going crazy like I was looking earlier offering human and animal sacrifices eventually. to try to get it to stop the earth and belching it's just going to get worse from there People are going to keep getting crazier and start going for the same. 
And from there, Mukta killed them, make tribes. And they're all savages. Ruled by no rule. There's no rules. <laughs> They're gonna be tearing up animals alive and eat them from there. I'm saying it. Goats, sheep, cats, dogs, cows. They're not gonna hurt them. They're just gonna straight up see. They see it. It's food. It's alive. It's moving. It's food. It won't matter what it is. Cannibalism will be common. It won't be something weird for them. If they need to resort to it, they'll just go. They'll just go and do it. Ugh. I'll leave the link in the description below before on the video there. I'd like for you to listen to this in its entirety there. Uh, it is an hour long video. Uh, if you start off with the 12 minute mark, that's where him and his uncle uh, are having the communication that's actually recorded. It'll last up for up until around, um, I don't know, about the 40 minute mark. So it's about a half hour recording of what they did there. And there is also a transcript of this at a minute to midnight on their website. I'll include that link as well, uh, where you can actually see what he says word for word. Uh, it is very alarming. He goes into the uh, cannibalism. They'll even eat people. And he's going to explain to you. His name is David, by the way, the 16-year-old young man. His name is David. Jose is his, uh, nephew, his uncle. Um, and he talks about being total chaos and savagery in America. And, um, and when he talks about the cannibalism, he's talking about demons that will actually come to the earth there. There'll be like tribes of them, uh, but they will, there will, he said, as he says, there'll be no rules. They will just eat people, animals, anything alive. He said to them, it is a food source and that's just the way they do. And there, you know, because of this uh, video here, I, I am really looking seriously about uh, sharing some things with you guys a lot deeper on things that I know about uh, that I'm very much concerned is actually headed our way. Um, and uh, it's, it's very, very tremendously um, uh, disturbing the information that we're seeing here. Let me take you real quick to the other video here. I know this one's very difficult to understand because uh, this video has been removed on several occasions from the internet and blocked. Uh, they play music, they put a wave sound in the, in the audio there, I think, so that you know, it's not picked up that it's there. At least that's what I've been told. And, um, but what I would like to do is share with you some of the information in this video here. Uh, of another near-death, this was actually a near-death experience, not a vision itself. And this young man, he's already passed away the second time. He prophesied his own death as well in his near-death experience. But he's the one that actually sees the Third World War and the aliens coming, much like what this uh, David 16-year-old young man here says, you know, that they're going to eat you. And the, this little boy here also said the same. They will eat you while you're yet alive. Um, let's get right into this. And let me take you um, to this video here. I want to start with the 1 minute and 50 second mark of the video. And again, I'll have the link in here for you. I ended up dying three years later when he was 13. I am going to get into his near-death experience right now. I'm going to tell you what exactly he told me when he died and when he was brought back, what he told me on the details. This is what he said, okay? All right, now, just to set the stage for you, the young man is 10 years old uh, when he dies. He drowns is what happens. He's dead for 50 minutes, or about 50 minutes. Uh, when he does come back, the doctors believe that he's going to be brain dead. They said even though he came back, it was way too long to be dead that long. 
um, and then he'll be brain dead and, and he'll not, he'll just be a vegetable. He comes back completely 100% fully, his mind is in full capacity, but he does suffer severe damage to his heart and kidneys and liver as a result of being dead for so long. Um, he does, and his mom doesn't really get it at the time, but he does tell her of his experience, of his near-death experience, and he also prophesies that he's going to die a second time. Uh, we won't be going into that part there. I'm going to play for you, though, about a two and a half minute mark at the six minute and 35 second mark of the video. Uh, and again, I would listen to every bit of this, and I'll have to kind of tell you what is said afterwards because I know the music and the, and the wavy sound in there makes it very difficult to hear. But I want you to hear this last part of what she tells about. Listen to this. Um, the future. He said he was shown that there was going to be a World War III that was going to take place on the Earth. He said his brother was going to get into the army and that his brother was going to get on the wrong side in life, which he's referring to my son, Daniel. He said... Now Daniel, his son, her son, and by the way, when the when the uh, video here was done, I think the young man had already been dead for 16 years by that time. There, the video. This is actually from many years back. I'm not sure exactly what time frame. It may be on the website here that I'm on. Um, but uh, his brother did when he grew up. He did join the army, and his mother said he did get on the wrong side of the fence there. Uh, but he didn't say that he would be in the war, but he said there would be a third world war. Uh, he also prophesies that his mother will not be living when that war starts. So I don't know what her status is today. Um, but anyway, Jeremy is the name of the young man here that has the vision and says there will be a third world war. Let's continue on. That he was going to get on the wrong side in life, but he would figure it out in the end. I, I asked him, I said, well, where was I during this World War III? He said, you were not on Earth. He said, I, he said you were already in heaven. Apparently, I'm going to be up in heaven before this happens. He said, with World War III, he said, Mom, he said, people think they are going to have to worry about World War III. He said, that's not what people have to worry about, Mom. He said, there's something bad and evil coming. And I said, oh, really? I said, what's that? And he said, it's the war of the demons, the war of the alien demons. That's what he called them. He's called them alien now, I don't know if you were able to understand it or not, but he says World War III, people are all worried about World War III. But as he noted in here, World War III is not what you have to worry about. He said what you have to worry about is what's coming afterwards. And he called it a war with alien demons. Listen to what else she has to say there. I think I can, no, I can't blow it up, sorry. Demons, he said that there were these creatures, these demon alien type creatures, and he said they were evil, and they were part of Satan's army, and that Satan was going to wage war upon this world and try to destroy everyone here. And he said World War III is going to be bad. He said, but it's nothing, nothing compared to the war that is coming from the alien demonic beings. He said they were going to come to Earth and try to destroy it, and they were going to eat people. This is what he told me. He said they were going to eat people. These deviant, demon alien things. And as you know, there are no aliens. Now, what she's saying at this point here is that, as he said, that these alien demons, as he called them, that they will eat people. They will be cannibalist, just like the other young man saw in his vision. And, uh, and, he, and he, she said he kept saying about this. He made the point there. He said they're actually demons, but they're disguised as aliens, which, in other words, from a 10-year-old boy's point of view, they've taken on bodies, some type of bodies that they have, which we would call maybe aliens today. All right, listen a little bit more. We're almost finished here. We've got about 27 seconds. Said they were demons. We call them demonic aliens. 
but he said they were demons. They were creatures, and they were from Satan. And he said they were going to wage war upon this earth, and they were going to eat people. And 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 I was like, oh wow, you know. So that was what his experience was, you guys. That's what my son told me. And. What is, what is so, so weird. weird? And again, that, that is profound. Now, I just happened to catch this one here, just out of curiosity to see if there were others. And there are a lot of others out here. I just haven't listened to them. But I want to play this one here from, uh, it's on the YouTube channel, Be Brave. And I want to play just a, just a few seconds of this one here where this young lady's talking about the vision she had as well. In different colonies, but they all the humans like i knew the little toys were humans and all these toys were slave they were going there will be they're being slaved by these demons these monsters they look horrible they they were tall like and and um they were tall and 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 horrible. I don't know how to describe them, but I knew they were demons. I knew they were monsters. And every colony or every certain population had these figure of power, which was a demon. And he will, and every human was chained up, and they were in, in, in one behind another, and they had no control over themselves. Like these demons would, could, could do whatever they wanted with him with these humans humans were hopeless and by the way i remember they were basically naked and they were doing like very very hard work like they were uh subject to slavery and they were doing very hard labor and if they did not do what they supposed to they will they were being tortured. Anyway, they were going. They they were being tortured because I seen it. It was so fast, but I saw, and it was so many of these demons. They had power over these population of people. They were in 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 slavery. It remind me of the Holocaust. Holocaust on all of it. Anyway, that's just. I'll place that link of this one here as well. The first two is what really kind of caught my attention, especially when the 16-year-old uh, boy David, when he speaks about the Catholic Church, um, and that's probably the most provocative part there uh, to me. I'm going back to the transcript here to see if I can actually pull his words up there um, where he speaks about that. Um, and just to re-advocate that once again, um, let's see here. Yeah, here it is right here. David says, beware of the Catholics. His uncle says, huh? He says, beware of the Catholics. Beware of the Catholics. Why, says Jose, his uncle. The first word will come from them. Oh, wow. What do you mean by that, Pappy? Uh, the first word of war will come from them. They will claim it's peace, but it's just corruption. I know you are fine. Oh, my gosh, Pappy. Oh, it's all corruption, he says, weeping about this. And what's really troubling to me when he spoke about this part here, if you remember, and then they speak about the demons and alien-like beings and some of these different visions here, like the, uh, the little 10-year-old boy, uh, Jeremy, there. And that is that um, the one thing that comes to my mind is that the, the Vatican, how much Pope Francis has talked recently about being willing to baptize Martians. He said, yeah, you know, the green little men that come from Mars, the children draw in pictures. Um, so many comments that have been coming out. Even uh, Pope uh, Benedict said that, the, uh, the, the, that there were those in the Vatican that were seeking an alien agenda. And then, of course, we have all this talk about the coming of Planet X uh, and, of course, being alien life on there. And this is where they live. And this is what came by when the Andalusian destruction, the flood that struck on the earth happened. Uh, it's believed this is what came by when Moses uh, brought about all the plagues on Egypt. 
different things like that, the different stories that we've heard. Uh, so these are the things. I just want to put it out there for your own thoughts to look at. Uh, I'm not going to draw a conclusion one way or the other. I am very concerned about these things, though, and I do believe that there could be some truth to what we're saying. I'm Stephen Benone. You're watching Israeli News Live. Aaron Thompson.